Riding through the busy streets of DC on a bike isn't always described as exhilarating and definitely not stress-free. But that's exactly how these Dunbar High School students picture the journey. For senior Makai Jinx, this after-school ride several times a week is his big escape. Last week, laying in my bed, I hear like four shots, four or five shots pop off. From home, I go downstairs in the, in the lobby of my apartment building, and I see blood trail, like trailing blood. To school, Jinx says it is tough to get away from the violence. Dunbar High School lost several students this year alone. A 17-year-old was DC's first homicide of 2023. Two other students were shot and killed at the outset of this school year. I turn my phone on notifications about two teens shot in Northeast. A person stabbed in Northeast, like something happened in Southwest or Southeast, and it just it happens way too much. We'll get caught with this cycling program, Prime Ability, was started by Dunbar High School teacher Alex Clark at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic to keep students and himself on the right path. The teen violence went up and skyrocketed crazy during the pandemic. It continues to go up. According to DC police data in the district, 11 children were killed in 2020, 12 the next year, 18 in all of 2022, and 18 so far this year. I would say, you know, within my career, it's probably somewhere around 12 students, somewhere around 12 students that like I've personally have had a relationship with that I've lost. Coach Clark put a post on social media years ago asking the community to donate bikes and for people to volunteer. The response is still overwhelming. Kind of a regular classroom before, now it's, yeah. it's a bike shop. Yeah, yeah, so we got pretty much everything. <laughs> Anybody that comes in here that's a bike person, they come in here and they say, like, this is a lot better than a lot of the bike shops yeah, that they've yeah. ever worked in. From none to roughly 70 bikes, Coach Clark's program has shifted into a new gear. The students aren't just riding, but learning to assemble and repair these bikes. The rides are also a bit more challenging. You got it in you? Can you do it? Yes. Yeah. They're going off road for training and competing against other cyclists in the region, continuously overcoming obstacles. Anybody fall off the bridge? Hey, fall off the bridge. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like right there. The yeah. determination and resiliency of these prime ability cyclists was on display for everyone to see when one student crashed during a race and with one mile to go, <laughs> carried his bike across the finish line. Coach Clark says this has been his biggest prize, watching his students press forward with grace. The most capable minded, um, the brightest minds of our future. Um, but, you know, our students go through a lot and they go through a lot um, in order to just show up every single day. For Jinx, it's an easier ride showing up each day. This is not only his big escape, but he calls it <laughs> his safe space. Pretty much changed my life because of the environment I'm in. I could just turn my mind off of what's going on in my neighborhood and stuff like that. Now, by the way, Coach Clark isn't done just yet. He is now working to expand Prime Ability to make it accessible to all DC Public High School students. What a great program. Yeah. And, and wouldn't that be awesome to expand to other schools? Mm -hmm. Because much like the coach said, a lot of kids go through a lot just right, to get right. to school. And, and many of the kids you talked to talked about what it's like being home and hearing the gunshots. It's so great that they have this respite. So. Yeah, so at the end of the day, they know they have this to look forward to. They, they invited me to ride along with them. How'd that, day. that go? Oh, man. I Did tried you keep to keep up. I tried to keep up. They are good. They are fast. <laughs> Had That's a good time fantastic. with them. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. And, and I can't wait to see more because it sounds like there will oh, be definitely. other schools doing yeah. some of the same things. Thank them as well. Yeah, great job, y'all.